mistakes that a lot of triathletes make that cause them to drop out of training before they've even entered a race. You're making a New Year's resolution to be tougher and more badass. And this is what I say is the key to getting started off properly in triathlon. Coach Pat, I don't know what kind of sick recovery you do, but over 300 watts is not designated as recovery in my books. I think he meant hard, not recovery for that minute. Oh. All right, new triathletes near and far. We are very quickly approaching New Year's resolution season. So I imagine there are a lot of badasses out there that are like, you know what, in 2018, this, this is the year that I'm gonna do my first triathlon. And so much power to you, we love that. What we wanna do here at the Triathlon Terran headquarters, which is really just me sitting on a couch in my garage and some friendly video editors named Mel and my wife who lets me do it, um, in this video, we want to give you five tips to make sure that as you start training for that first triathlon, you aren't going to make a lot of the mistakes that a lot of triathletes make that cause them to drop out of training before they've even entered a race. Now for starters, you're going to have problems swimming unless you came from a swimming background. Even if as a kid you went through like don't drown level one and don't drown level two, you're gonna have a really hard time swimming the first few times out because it's not natural for us and that's okay. We have tons of resources to make those swims more enjoyable and start you off and over the matter of maybe just a month, you'll be able to confidently get into open water. The best resource that we can give besides all the videos that are on this channel is something that we've put at triathlonterran.com forward slash swim drill program you enter your email address there and boom you get a series of I think 15 drills and these are the drills that allowed me to go from being that triathlete that struggled to get across one length of the pool to going all the way across a lake 27 kilometers a few years later 37 kilometers this year I'm serious do those drills the second thing you don't want to do is start off by punishing yourself. Sure, you're making a New Year's resolution to be tougher and more badass, but if you aren't coming from a huge fitness background, all of a sudden swimming, biking, running really intensely and murdering yourself and feeling completely drained and slightly injured and sore after, that's going to demotivate you. Start off small. Start off with a 15 or 20 minute workout three, four times a week, then add a fifth time a week, then stretch that from 20 to 30 minutes. Gradually build up because what I'm gonna tell you at the end of the video is going to allow you to not have to worry about crushing yourself right from the get-go. That's how you get injured, that's how you get demotivated. Third thing is to stay regular and stay consistent you're much better off to do a little bit every single day. And it can be as little as 20 to 30 minutes as opposed to being that person that works out say two or three times during the week because you're busy and then smashing yourself for four hours on the weekend. Little bits of training sprinkled throughout an entire week and building up over a course of three or four months, it makes huge gains because there's never say a day where you just become stagnant. And those days basically turn into a permission slip for you to turn one day off into two days off into three days off to dropping out of the race. Fourth thing that you don't want to do is ignore aches and pains. Yes, as you get into every sport, you're going to have some aches and pains here or there that crop up. It's natural, but there's a difference between a muscle pain and a structural pain. A muscle pain is when, you know, you're just kind of beat up in the muscle belly of something and it feels sore or like, you know, when you go up and down stairs or like sit down on a toilet and you're like, oh, 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 I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get up. That, that's okay. But when you have aches and pains in your joints or in tendons and ligaments and it feels like you structurally can't move, you gotta address those. And you either do that with injury prevention techniques that you do on your own or by going and seeing a sports specific physiotherapist. Don't let them become big problems that knock you out of the race. And the fifth thing, and this is what I say is the key to getting started off properly in triathlon is to keep your very first race short. Now, 
That's not to say that you can't go and make your first race a half Ironman or an Ironman if that's your goal. But if you're doing that, just know that you're probably gonna have an awful day. It's gonna be incredibly tough. What I would recommend is if you want that goal in 2018 to be an Ironman or a half Ironman or a full marathon, just do a shorter training race leading into it so that you rip off that Band-Aid in a race that doesn't cost you a whole lot, something that's close to home. And if it turns into a disaster, a sprint race or an Olympic race is over in a matter of an hour, two hours, three hours. You're not out there for an entire day suffering. So I almost always recommend that people start out with a sprint just to understand what they're getting themselves into and then start building into it. Take out a ton of the variables, make it easier on yourself to do that first race. There you go, new triathletes. If you aren't yet subscribed, you're new here, and your goal is to do a race in 2018, we have a triathlon video for you every single day, so hit that subscribe button. If you are an existing trainiac, thanks for coming here for another year. 2018 is gonna be awesome. We're gonna keep these videos pumping. Later, trainiacs.